Today is Monday, December the 7th, and we see that the uh, McClellan oscillator fell down from the overbought into, you know, value here about 100 in between overbought and neutral. Um, normally, you would think it would go down to zero and find support there, but we've been above the neutral line now since November the 2nd, and we haven't experienced that um, except if you look back in August, when August um, and September and early October, we spent a great deal of time under the neutral line. So we can spend just as much above this line, and we could go through to the end of the year. Um, but let's take a look at the charts. First of all, I want to point out something uh, in the comments. Zach said, it's crazy how your Neo Fibonacci straight has worked, strat has worked. I noticed some other stocks uh, work this way back in May. Um, you know, to me, the Fibonacci's are just the way the market moves. We're going to take a look at BBY, which um, um, Zach bought today and uh, try to understand that trade. I've asked him to explain what he saw in this setup that he liked, and it could very well be this bounce here of the Chiku span off of the bottom of the cloud. If that's what he's looking for and he stepped in today, that's not a bad place to trade. You could take a little bit of a position in BBY here and say that this is where it's going to reverse. This volume was quite high as it was on Thursday, as it was on Tuesday and Monday. Um, and then you could look for support on the 200 moving average and say, well, that's where I'm going to add my next little bit. And then if you get two days of bouncing off the 200, you add some more, or you wait for it to come down to the 200 SMA. Now, Zach is convinced that it's not going below 100, um, but to get down to the 200, it's got to hit 98.69 in the next few days. And since the 200 is flattening out, um, it doesn't look like 100 is going to be the support um, point with the 200 for some time. So uh, that's not a bad strategy to step into BBY if you really believe that they're going to have great earnings. But let's take a look now at all of the markets. The Dow Jones uh, pulled back from its highs. NASDAQ um, continued to make a new high today. And the S&P pulled back a little bit from its high, as did the Dow Jones. Apple continues to rock and roll. Great stock. I'm still short the January 115 puts, and that's um, collecting premium. And that's what makes me comfortable. Caterpillar had this pullback from its massive day yesterday. I think Biden has appointed someone that's going to head up his um, infrastructure. That would be good, but he still has to get it through a Republican uh, Senate who's all of a sudden found Jesus and thinks that spending money isn't a good idea anymore. AT&T continues to rock, had a new high today, a new recent high today, and then it pulled back. It's a great stock. Um, JP Morgan and US Bank, a representative of the banks, they also pulled back. So let's take a look at some of our new stocks. There's Best Buy that we just talked about. Here's Square. Square is about to break out above this um, pennant here, and it would be a buy. So let's just put a uh, alert here say when it crosses that top wedge line let's give ourselves an alert and that would be a place where you could buy uh, square on a breakout CVS I still haven't bought CVS um, it popped up yesterday and it pulled back I know I said I would buy it yesterday um, I, I think it's a good stock I mean I've got a sticky note here that says that I should buy CVS I've got to put it right in the middle of my screen and not forget to do that tomorrow. Uh, what else are we looking at? We're looking at Sono. Sono has um, pulled back now. And what we need to be looking at is this gap. It's an awfully big gap. And it would be hard to believe that um, Sono could actually fill this gap. It's so huge. It's got to be an earnings gap. If you follow Sono, you would know if it's earnings or not. But one thing that could happen is it could come down to test the top of the cloud. So take a look at Sono. But this bull pennant 
broke out and then failed. So I wouldn't be stepping into that. And if I had profits that I had made on Sono, I would be taking them and getting out of them. And Boeing tried to make uh, a new high today, a new recent high today, and it pulled back. This was its previous high close right there. And that, whoops, let's put that green line right here. And it now has pulled up above that, that previous high. So we've made a new high. We're above the 50% Fibonacci, but we still pull back. Um, you know, if you believe that the airlines are going to make a pullback, uh, a comeback in the third quarter of next year, Boeing could be a good stock to play. Uh, what else do we want to look at? Um, let's just look at some oil and gas. Here's um, Exxon below the 200. The uh, cloud was resistance here on the Chiku span, came back, and today the cloud, if we put a line right underneath the very low of the day, we can see that the cloud was pretty much support for the Chiku span. Um, another one, BP, uh, not much happening there, approaching the 200. I wouldn't be playing oil right now. Um, so where are we going now? We're still going higher. The market is still excited um, about new opportunities. The volatility index continues to be crushed. So that would indicate that the long-term outlook is pretty good. Uh, maybe the medium outlook, medium-term outlook is a bit of a pullback, but certainly the long-term outlook is bullish. So try to find some stocks at some good places where you see support like Andy, or like uh, Zach did on BBY, um, Best Buy, and uh, I'm looking at CVS, and those are two stocks you might be interested in. Apple is still a great play. If you want to sell puts on Apple, I wouldn't buy Apple, but I would like, I like selling puts and collecting the premium and just giving myself that cushion that I think 115 could be a place where 115 would be a 120 is the cloud. Uh, the 50 is down at 117, and the bottom of the cloud is down at 115. So I'm pretty comfortable in holding January 115 puts for a pretty reasonable um, premium.